Hey church family, thank you for joining us for uh, our last uh, devotional of this week. Uh, we are going to be uh, starting a, a whole new series and, and a whole new uh, quarter uh, this coming Sunday uh, in our Sunday School or Connect Group material. So looking forward to walking with you through that. Um, we are finishing up this a whole idea of accepting the differences that sometimes we have with one another. Uh, and we're going to be uh, again in Colossians chapter 3. And we're going to start in verse 15. And Paul writes, and let the peace of Christ, which you were also called in one body, rule your hearts and be thankful. Um, this idea, this peace of Christ, uh, this whole idea that we've looked at this whole time of putting on love, of, of, accepting, of, of accepting the differences that sometimes we have with one another. Uh, the reality is there are divisions that exist in our world. And sometimes those divisions are not uh, uh, all sin. Sometimes we can just believe different things. And we've talked about some of those things, those disputed things those things that are not clearly stated in Scripture, but instead are sort of gray areas where uh, maybe uh, one person is right and the other person is right as well. Or perhaps it's, as we mentioned it in Romans earlier this week, it's about a, a more mature Christian versus a more immature Christian. And so what, what Paul is trying to express here is, hey, in those situations— Allow the peace of Christ to control those circumstances. Uh, be patient with one another. Be loving to one another. Uh, it's okay to say, hey, I agree to disagree with you, and that's all right. You, those divisions don't have to define our relationships. Um, but this is not an excuse to accept sin amongst one another. And so one thing that we need to be careful of is we don't need to allow sin to exist in those relationships and just continue. There's a difference in accepting, um, accepting divisions or accepting differences that are not sin and uh, allowing sin to continue. And so as believers, we should hold one another accountable for sin in each other's lives. Um, but we should still allow the peace of Christ to control that. And so uh, to just be all up in that, you know, as we approach people about sin that exists, um, we should do it with patience and we should do it with understanding that maybe their eyes are just not open yet. You know, we, we need to continually seek unity, uh, even though sometimes that may mean that it doesn't all happen at once, that it's a slow process. Um, we should still seek it. So our author offers us a couple of questions that allow us just kind of look within ourselves and look at circumstances that maybe we have faced in the past. One of those questions is, how do you know when to accept others and when to challenge their perspectives? So how do you, how do you tell the difference between whether something is, uh, uh, disputed, as Paul said, which means it's, it's not necessarily sin, it's just a difference of belief, or when we should challenge that perspective because maybe that perspective is sin. And I think we can always come back to the Word of God uh, in that. We can look to God's Word and see, hey, is, is His Word clear about whether this is sin or not? And if it's clear that it's sin, then hey, we need to challenge in love that perspective. And then the next question is, how have you experienced God's peace in your life? Um, and, and I would definitely say there are times when I have had divisions with people in my life, uh, in, in churches, in, in family, uh, in just friendships. Um, and there have also been times where uh, perhaps the those divisions were built around sin. Maybe uh, I had to challenge some perspective or had some challenge, some perspective challenged in me. And uh, what I've always tried to do in any of those circumstances is to first go to the Lord in prayer and, and just ask him to give me wisdom, to, to speak godly, speak his wisdom into me and to surround me with people who speak wisdom. And so I would highly encourage you to uh, build a friend group, build a group of people around you who are Christians, who are wise, but also who don't always believe what you believe. Um, because there are times that we can be um, so entrenched in our beliefs that we're unwilling to open our eyes to maybe see where it's possible our perspective is wrong. So I would encourage you to allow people to speak that into your life. And as you do that, just as Paul has said here, to constantly not, not seek division, not seek to prove your point or win an argument, but instead seek peace and unity and always letting the love of Christ shine through. Uh, more than anything, church family, though, I want you to know that I love you and I'm praying for you.